coming up, I'm gonna show you how I made my version of the M34 belt carrier that Self-Reliance Outfitters carried on their website for a short time from Badger Claw Outfitters. Hey, I'm the OCD Hunter, bringing you tips, tricks, DIY hacks, and other useful ways that my OCD can help make your life a little more simpler. So when the M34 Canteen came out on the Self-Reliance Outfitters website, they offered a belt carrier for a short period of time that was created by, I believe, Badger Claw Outfitters. Now, I don't know if they will be making more of these, but as far as I can see, I have not been able to see any more come on the website since those first initial ones sold. So I never went out and bought one because I thought, oh, I can make one of those. And since they haven't brought any back to the website, what I thought I would do is show you how I made this. Now to make it easier, instead of having just a super long video, I'm gonna break it into two parts. And I also want you to understand that this is not my design. I am taking the design by looking at the photos that they sold. And from there, I'm basically reverse engineering and just creating it myself. So I, I'm not taking credit for this design. I'm not saying this is my design. All I'm saying is, is I wanted to show you how that something like this could be made. So this is the M34 Canteen that I got from the Self-Reliance Outfitter website. It's a, actually a pretty nice little system, compact. But what they sent with it was this simple nylon strap that uh to try to keep them together because it does rattle a little bit and to be honest with you um i think it's not not very good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how i built a version of the badger claw outfitters uh, belt carrier so what i'm using is i'm going to edge tan leather and some nice suede uh, leather for the straps so first one I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off some excess here. The leather has been sitting for a long time, so it's coiled up. So I'm going to unwind it to try to get it to lay flat so I can work with it. But the idea of what I want to do is I want to make two two-inch straps. One's going to go around the canteen uh, to hold it, and then the other one is going to go uh, down around the bottom and then make the belt loop. So I'm cutting out the two two inch straps and I'm going to conveniently check it against the ruler because the ruler is two inches wide. And now I'll go ahead and cut out the second one. Now, I, I don't have any plans for this. I'm just kind of looking at the picture and trying to figure out how to make it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, get a nice 90 degree angle on the edge of one of the straps so then I can measure it. So I'm going to use the uh, canteen cup to measure the strap that goes around. And it's going to come about right there. And once I get the measurement, I'm going to put it on the mat to see exactly about how long it is. And it comes out to about 11, a little over 11 inches. So what I'm going to do is I added about three quarters of an inch to it to make sure there's plenty of room for the canteen to fit into it and then cut a nice straight edge. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and just once again dry fit it and make sure that it looks like it will be able to fit and clear in. So the next thing I'm going to do is I once again going to make a 90 degree angle on the other strap and I'm going to do the same process but I'm going to come up and down around the canteen cup and then fold it back. And what I want is a two inch belt loop 
and then I want two inches to line up with the strap to go around. So I'm going to need a total of a four inch flap. So I'm going to find four inches and then fold this over and make a mark so I know exactly how long I need it. Okay, once I make my mark, then I'm going to try to make a nice straight 90 degree cut on that as well. And that will give me the two main pieces. So this piece ends up being about 17 inches in length. And then the other one ends up being about 12 or excuse me, 11 and three quarters. So now, as I always do, I just continue to go back to the canteen and do a dry fit. So you can see that the one strap will go around. I'll make the belt loop back here. And basically, you got a little belt carrier with the two straps. Next video, I'll show you how I put on the uh, suede straps and the snaps to connect it and put it all together. So there's part one of the canteen build. I'll get with you soon on part two and finish it so you can see exactly how the rest of it was made. I'm the OCD Hunter and I hope that my continual painstaking practice of changing, fixing, and improving on ideas will help you out in your endeavors. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified of new videos. Comments are always welcome.